while we are doing our uh, bachelors in india we never knew what the gate is right what the hell is gate and yeah. i think we uh, we have some idea of version control but uh, what version control is used right now what is widely used so uh, during our bachelors we didn't had any idea when i came here i came to know okay this is git and uh, i have to learn it uh, because uh, so git is a version control and um, you do your coding and you keep the versions of your code and you sub uh, there is a masters uh, repo over there and you are submitting your code into a master repo so uh when you are submitting it is it is called a pull request and what it does that this piece of work is going into a master and mm-hmm. and whoever uh, are your reviewers will review it that okay this looks good this looks do good or you forgot uh, <coughs> to name it properly or you uh, there is there are three three lines of extra space go and get rid of those uh, uh mark your strings constant and make them Uh, on a top of uh, program and not in a middle. So there are various coding stand standards <coughs> that company uh, company focuses on. Right, right, and that's more. So again, just you know, for people who are watching this for the first time and have no idea about all these coding standards and all that, there's just like several standards company will have on their own. Someone will have uh, these are the following. you know standard approach we do and you need to have that and then uh, what he's talking specifically for his company is that uh, they do a code review process where someone else is reviewing the code and and suggesting some comments so that's one part of your job and mm-hmm. what exactly like you know do you do when when you are role is like what's this technology stack you work on so technology stack is uh, basically um, the website is in .net um and the mobile part <coughs> is in xamarin so in xamarin you have a ability uh to work on uh android and ios on the same platform um basically you can share the back end mm-hmm. uh but uh, when it comes to a front end of android and ios you are basically doing it in uh the native code but you are writing it in c sharp instead of java okay. or kotlin right so and when you compile it it generates both uh, it it generates both ios yeah, and android both, uh, yeah yeah awesome and so what are the skill set for people to learn if they want to go into the same industry you are in like mobile software android application or xamarin specific yeah so the skills uh i think the first thing is get because that is a medium you are going to submit your code this uh second is uh, uh you have to be updated with what is the trends in the market mm-hmm. uh you should know um high level stuff of uh, how the objects are are being handled so mm-hmm. there is a thing called dependency injection um why people use it you should uh, mm-hmm. you should know all these things and uh Mm, what you should you should also be skilled for how you should make your code um optimized op- yeah. optimized and how you can um do less lines of code with uh, if you are writing a 10 lines of code can you do it less and can you optimize it that's how you should know so these all things come into yeah place. and what should they do in the while they are pursuing masters like can they do something so that it's easy to showcase those kind of thing because i know that you had like some dummy phone applications made and a website built mm-hmm. uh, those are the extra curricular projects you did right, right, right. other than your assignments to show that this is my skill set uh. right uh, so it is really good if you can contribute to open source projects right. uh, because open source project are like you can get a current scenario over there what is going on in a market what is being used in open source project why it is being used you should know all these thing and you should go and explore it and uh, uh, so suppose dependency injection why we need dependency injection first of all so these all questions uh 
you can see the actual implementations of these in the open source projects so uh, that's why I, I would i would advise everyone to at least have a look on how these things look and and anything any new technology that comes go and have a taste of it if kotlin uh, recently kotlin came like uh, uh, google made it official android uh, programming language so uh, go and uh, if you want to pursue in mobile application just go and um, explore that ex language explore it yeah. create create an app, app out of it and, right and see what what and why things so that is yeah and and what's the typical salary range for mobile application developer or a software developer into mobile industry mm, uh, again depends on location so it is um, it should be somewhat like 75000 to 140 and if you want to go in like a little bit uh, senior then it would go more than that depending on location i think in san francisco it is somewhat uh, 140 150 range in in yeah in this yeah. Uh, industry yeah right and what's the like top trending uh, languages for mobile uh, uh, first of all kotlin for ios it is swift um, and there are various other things like reactive extensions they are both in kotlin and uh, swift and people are widely using it so, uh, dependency injection again like it is a uh, uh, during interviews like it is being asked that what is it and right. people require it yeah so let me summarize you said kotlin for android yeah. swift for ios yeah. uh, and then react because they do it in both kotlin and swift no not react oh. don't don't get confused between react and reactive extensions reactive extension okay okay so reactive ex extensions uh, you will find with every languages i think it was first launched with the c sharp .NET and uh, everyone adapted it from there and they implemented it uh, in different languages so uh, right now currently i'm using reactive extensions in my um, uh, company and um, uh, people are adapting it right so and, and what's the future do you think of this mobile app uh, world like do you think there's a future in this and I, the scope in this i think there is a really good scope of mobile development uh, every other day you have a diff different technology different thing but right now there is only one uh, thing persisting in that is mobile right i think after some time uh, laptops m might get more smaller maybe you can do the thing that you want to do in laptop in you know mobile mobile yeah. so yeah. Uh, there is a very big future in mobile and uh, <coughs> with mobile you get a challenging uh, stuff like how you should manage with uh, with this battery and with this memory how you can manage the big tasks that are supposed to be done on right. um, uh, on big big computers nice. so yeah. that's how yeah. and, and that's, what, that's yeah. how sorry uh, i interpret you but that's how an android is developing uh, you can see how android 1 was and how android 10 is right uh, right so what's the job market for mobile application developers or software developers into mobile industry uh, i think it is very big yeah. Uh, because you you will find website developers everywhere. You, mm -hmm. you, you will find um, in a uh, plenty of amount, but you will find really less mobile developers in United States. At right. Least. So especially the one who can do both, both full stack right. kind of back end. I would say if yeah. you are if you want to go in mobile development, uh, you should know both right now because right now there is Android, there is iOS, and if you know both, then you would be a golden. Um, valuable person for the company uh, golden candidate yeah, actually yeah. so yeah. Uh, you uh, your aim should be uh, to be at that golden because uh, if you will do android uh, company as a as a software company so suppose if i am a software company and i want to develop uh, a app uh, so i won't think that uh, i will always think that i want this in both my platform but i i would also consider my cost mm -hmm. cost of developing um, uh, that app if i hire a android developer if i hire a ios developer i am paying two persons uh, say 75000 75000 but if someone knows both of them and can share backend somehow which now you can do in, in xamarin or kotlin only 
uh, if you are that guy that who can do that then company can pay you maybe 120 or 130 because you are the yeah you uh, know both instead of yeah. hiring two people you yes. you do the job of two and hire just one person right right yeah. so yeah. Uh, uh, i am really big fan of uh, uh, hybrid development but i don't like the development that is done like through uh, react native Mm-hmm. and because we know that recently uh, airbnb opt out of react native and uh, they went into some kind of problem and they came out and right. they fo- right now only focusing on native but since this kotlin uh, has launched um, it extension where you can also share the ios backend um, for companies it would be easier Uh, mm-hmm. and for developers it would be easier you just write a code in kotlin and you you, you design a backend in such a way that you can also be sharing ios and you are actually doing a native development on android and ios both nice yeah cool that this is so much valuable for i think for my audience what's the one tip would you give to pursuing their career into mobile industry be updated with what is in a market what uh, what programming paradigms are in, within the market and what companies are looking for um, if you want to find out what companies are looking for the best way is just go to their um, job website and see the requirements Uh, mm-hmm. and what the that role is asking for right just see that and stay updated yeah. like yeah. staying updated is not um, not a big task right and i i would add to that is to actually create applications and put it on marketplace or i android uh, store and uh, iphone mm-hmm. store because that actually shows that you have done something and if you have users who are using your apps that is more valuable than anything else like uh, mm. so uh, that is something i wanted to add awesome thank you for doing this you remember my ending uh, yeah ki until our next episode until our next episode keep hustling and keep smiling <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>